curve C has equation y equals x squared minus 8x plus 10. The point P has coordinates 3 minus 5 and lies on C. Find the equation of the normal to C at P. Well, finding the equation of a normal, a normal is a straight line. So what we're looking to do is find the equation of a straight line. The equation of a straight line requires a point, which we have in the point 3 minus 5 here, and it requires a gradient. Now, the methods we have for finding a gradient are by using two points, and we've only got one, or by using differentiation to find dy by dx at a particular point using the equation of a curve. Here I have the equation of a curve, so let's differentiate y in order to find a function for the gradient. So dy by dx, differentiating the function of the curve, we get 2 times 1, which is 2x, decrease the power from 2 to 1, I don't bother writing the 1, minus differentiate 8x, I just get left with x, uh, sorry, 8, and differentiate the constant, it disappears. So, at x equals 3, which comes from our point here, we can determine that the gradient dy by dx equals 2 lots of 3 minus 8, which gives us a gradient of minus 2 at the point 3 minus 5. Now, this here represents the gradient of a tangent. I want the gradient of a normal. So if you consider, if I just label this as m lowercase uh, subscript, sorry, t, to represent the gradient of a tangent, the gradient of a normal in that case, so m subscript n, can be found by doing minus 1 over the gradient of the tangent which gives us a gradient for that normal as being minus a half. Now we have the gradient for the normal. Now we have a point for the normal. I can find the equation of the normal. So remember, we want to use this y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Substitute our values in. So I get y minus minus 5 equals 2 minus a half times x minus 3. Now I'm just going to multiply the whole equation by 2 so I don't have to worry about dealing with fractions. I'm going to get 2y minus minus 5 is plus 5. I'm going to multiply that by 2. It gives us 2y plus 10 equal 2. Since I've got negative again, I'm going to multiply the constant first of all, so I'm going to get plus 3 minus x. And all I want to do is tidy up so I've got one constant. So I will take the x and the 3 across the other side. So plus x minus 3. And so this gives us the equation x plus 2y plus 13 equals 0. Now, marks on this question, uh, we get initially a method mark for trying to attempt the, different, uh, the differentiation. We then get an additional method mark here. If I show that I'm going to substitute in x equals 3 into the gradient that you've got, we get an accuracy mark or answer mark for dy by dx, the gradient at the point being minus 2, and we get a method mark here for showing that the gradient of the normal is m1. Now remember here, we can't get this accuracy mark without this method mark, and we can't get the next accuracy mark without this method mark. Final accuracy mark is given if we get the equation of the normal down here. Okay, and this mark is dependent on this previous M1 mark being given. Okay, let's look at part B. Part B says the point Q lies on the lies on C at such that the tangent to C at this equation at Q has the equation y equals 4x plus C. 
where c is a constant. Find the coordinates of q and find the value of c. Essentially what we are saying is this equation y equals 4x plus c is a tangent to the curve y equals x squared minus 8x plus 10. Now, what I want to do is I want to find where this, where this equation meets this curve and what the value of c is. Now, the temptation actually is, at this point, to think, okay, well, we could solve these equations simultaneously. That's going to be difficult given that we don't have the constant c. The important part to note here in part b is that the gradient here, m, equals 4. And so if the gradient of the straight line is 4, then the gradient of the curve must be 4. And so dy by dx for our curve must be equal to 4. Well, that leads us to say that the expression that we've got for the gradient, 2x minus 8, must be equal to 4. If we add 8 to both sides and then divide by 2, we're going to find 4 plus 8 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, we find that the x-coordinate is 6. The y-coordinate we can then just find using the equation of the curve, so y equals 6 squared minus 8 lots of 6 plus 10, so I get 36 plus 10 is 46, 46 take away 48, y equals minus 2. So q is the point 6 minus 2. Finally, I want to find the value of c. So I can find the value of c by substituting in my x and y value into this equation. So we're going to get minus 2 equals 4 lots of 6 plus c. If I subtract the 4 times 6, which is 24, if I subtract that from both sides, I get that c is equal to minus 26. How are we awarded marks in this question? Well, first of all, you get a method mark if you identify the fact that the gradient for the tangent and the curve is 4. Second of all, you get an accuracy mark if you can then solve and find x equals 6. You get an accuracy or answer mark if you find that y equals minus 2. And you get an accuracy or answer mark if you get to the point where you find that the constant c is minus 26. I hope that all made sense and that you can understand what we did there.